Oh, that might be a good one, I think. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's a good one, Sam. Yes. Yeah, that's a uh, that's the one we're chasing. I'm not sure he knows what's going on yet. Here we go. Here we go. That is a tank of a fish. That is a tank of a fish. Ho oh. ho. Have a go there. Morning, ladies and gents, and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. You're joining us from the grand final of the Wilson Elite Flathead Series down the Gold Coast. We're here at the start, all the boats. 30 of us. That is the top 30. So it is a staggered start in order that you qualified. So we're leaving at number nine, and then it's just a race to your spot and start fishing. Fishing till 3 p.m. today. With a bit of luck, we can find a few fish. Cade, it's your day, yeah. mate. It is your day. Pressure is on. Dicko, big one from you too. Yeah. I'm gonna catch four, but that's fine. It's all good. It's gonna be a good day, cracker weather. The sun's coming up. What a day to go flathead fishing. Let's do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, slight mishap with a uh, sandbank on the way in, but we're here. It is fishing time. Let's do it. All good. Oh, God, they, I'm just getting up there. Look at the bait flipping around there. Hello. Now, my opinion. The ideal start to any fishing competition is securing a full bag as soon as possible, regardless of the size. A full bag takes the pressure off and just allows you to really focus in on targeting those upgrader fish. Today was definitely no exception, and it was Dicko who drew the first strike. Yeah. Got him. Fish on. Net? Yeah. Ah. You got the net, Cade? Hey, I'm just winding this in. Yeah. What's good fish? Oh, no. Nah, it's having a little one. Good enough. Anyway. <laughs> nice one, Troy. Right, Show the camera when you get a chance, Dicko. That's fish number one. Oh, a little 46 or 7 -er. Talk to me. 47 centimetres. Thank you. That'll do it. From little ones, big, big. ones come. Hey, hey, hey. It's, um, hey. It's dorsal fin would come out of the water like that. Two seconds, wait. Oh, sorry, guys. There's uh, fish number two, both to Troy Dixon. He's he's on. He's on a roll. Just need to up that size a little. Oh, net. Yeah. Legal one. Always oh, a real nice one. Look at that. Oh. Right, you just deal with that for me, will you? I'll just catch it. There you go. Fast and furious. Fish number 348, Troy Dixon, holding the team together. There you go guys, another little specimen, hope he's not in the bag at the end of the day, but 48 centimetres, that's number three. Dicko was very much in the zone, with his old faithful two and a half inch flat shad in Fat Betty colour. By this stage, Cade and I hadn't even had a hook up yet. I'll get it. You got it? Yep. Number four. I'm going to have to swap back to the nice one, mate. <laughs> Single handedly. Number four. Only little ones, bro. Only small ones, but hopefully everyone else is having the same issue. At least once you got four on there, pressure's off, you can just focus on catching the big girls. The good thing is. We've seen some big ones. We have seen some big ones, so we just got to wait it out, and they'll eat eventually. Keep throwing big stuff; they uh, they'll get excited sooner or later. Mind you, elephants eat peanuts. Forty-four, 44. lovely. Better than a kick in the face. See that, Kate? That bait? Yeah. There'll be one there. Oh, fish. Yes. He's only a, oh, he's only a, oh, he's a jumper. Oh, okay. 
Double? What's that one on but I'm saying? That's uh, good god. I'll need a net just because he's... I don't right. know. He's only small, but yeah. Nine. That's five, boys. Ew! That's five alive. And it's legal. Five. Five fish. Five fish. And I'm helping, which is even better. Yeah, mate. Well, there he is. That's fish number five. He's probably 43. Yeah. Well, I'm zoning in, Dicko. Fish with you enough. Good little scorer. They can't take five off us now. Onwards and upwards from here. We just got a 30 something in there. Yeah, well, we can need to get rid of him. With a full bag locked in, it was time to try and up the sizes. Got him. Fish? Yeah. Nice, Dicko. Good fish? Oh, Good enough? Enough greater. <sighs> Lovely work, mate. Always oh, getting gift wrappers. It's alright. What if that's that same little one? Oh, doesn't matter. Oh, that gets rid of that thirty something. Far out. Hook out. Oh, beauty. Well, there you go, guys. First little upgrade. We got rid of a thirty-six, and we've upgraded him to fifty-one. Oh, sorry, fella. So, what'd you get him on? Just ate the little fat Betty flat shad, my go-to lure, pretty much in this sort of country. So, anyway. We need a big one. We've missed a couple of good ones. We need that one big one. Give us a bit more confidence. I know, but I yeah, fish on, fish on. All right, I'll get the net ready. Oh, he's, he, oh he might be all right. Oh, he, yeah, he's legal. I'm just going to let him get his head down How a bit. How big is it? Uh, small net? Yeah, 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 he's only small, but he might be bigger than 44. I don't know about that. Oh. No. Oh. We'll check him. Oh jeez. No, you'll be right. He's a 50. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. He'd be over 44. All right. Yeah. Sweet. He's going to go 51. Not 50. All right. Not greater. Yep. There you go. That's a 50. We're slowly but surely getting there. They're getting bigger, that's the main thing. <laughs> it's slow. It is slow, but we're getting there. Hopefully everyone else is having the uh, same trouble. Fish on. No, it'll do. Whoa! Is that a score? Or? Might be. He's got to beat like 41, so. The fishing was going incredibly slow for us, but all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Cade hooked the big fish we'd been searching for. Yes, Cade. Let's go double net. Oh yeah, look at those head shakes. Nice work, mate. It's a good fish. I've gone on a spot lock, boys. You cool with that? Yeah. Do you want to come go second net there, Dicko? Oh, you're all right. So oh, nice. It's a crop. Righto, Sammy. Oh, it's nice. Nah, they're too small, that. Oh, yeah. Let's just talk about it when it's in the boat. Really good fish, mate. Really good fish. Nice work. I'm off spot lock again, boys. Watch that motor. He's all right. Keep. Keep just. Okay. I've gone back on spot lock again, boys. All right. Nah, just, just take it easy, Kate. Why we're here. He's right, he's right.
Oh no! Okay. Get him next time. <laughs> so right to your fault. Fishing can be a cruel beast and this was certainly one of those times. That was the last opportunity we had at an upgrader fish all session. No matter what we did for the following few hours, we simply couldn't produce the goods. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a bit of a run to get back to uh, where we started this morning. That was a tough day in the office. Not good. Not yep. ideal. Troy, no comment. No. We had a couple of really good chances at some really, really nice fish. The kind of fish that would have turned your day right round, but instead... They're still swimming. They're still out there. Well, they would have been still swimming anyway, but uh, we didn't get any photos of them, which is very disappointing. But at the end of the day, that is fishing. We gave it a red hot nudge. We stuck to our plan. We went hard, just did not come home with the goods. As they say in the classics, we did not get the chocolates. That's all right. Someone would have, so congratulations to whoever they are. We'll find out uh, who won it a bit later on. But luckily for you guys, you're not going to have to just be satisfied with that flathead action. I've actually got some of the footage from our pre-fishers that uh, you'll get to see. You'll get to see that we can actually catch some big fish. <laughs> Heaps, in fact. Just not when it counts. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a bit like that, unfortunately. But that's all right. There's always next year, and we'll give it a red-hot nudge then. Stay tuned for the results and uh, some big fish after this. Now for the results, we came in at a very disappointing 26th out of 30 boats. Certainly not the result we were hoping and aiming for. But a massive congratulations must go to team New Look Floors who came in first place with a huge bag of 3.55 metres for their five fish. That is unreal fishing. Congratulations guys. Now, as promised, here's some of the better fish that we caught during our practice sessions. The one time you don't turn the camera on, this is what happens. Have a go at this. Cracking fish. That's the crocodile they spotted at Stratty the other week. <laughs> that is a beast. You're a wizard. Have a go at that. Yeah, we don't have a measure on board, but safe to say that's a biggie. He is a good fish. Dicko, Sweet. what's the official? Oh, I reckon 76. 76? I reckon 80. Yeah. I reckon that's well and truly 80. But I'm not going to argue with you because you've caught heaps more flooded. Hey, the Ross is a beautiful fish. Lovely, lovely, mate. We need that one in the comp again. Definitely. But always good to practice with them. That's got to be an 80 centimetre oh, fish. Oh, he's a cracking fish. Oh, oh, I should angle this. Instead of, get the net, Cade? Yeah. instead of being silly boys. That's the bit, what was that your third cast with that lure? No, it was the first. First cast? Well the the technical first cast went I did a skywood. Watch me rod. Chuck it back here if you want. Oh you're right. He would be, he'd be like 58. You reckon? Close. Oh, well, I better get a photo. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did say that. Yee ha. Nice. Oh, he's over 70. Best of luck getting that lure back. Oh. He has choked that. Oh, <laughs> he's free. That's why, buddy. Get in there. That's why, buddy, he's loose. Oh no! Oh! So you got potential? Excellent. Oh yeah, little scorer. On the, little, on the light, right? 
on the whiting stick. Now that was like, that bite was the most softest little tiny... Little tick. <laughs> what are you, be 50, 51? Yeah. Here we That's go. Little fella. Nice little starter. It'll be 50. Maybe 50. Maybe 52. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Good eating size. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're going to knock one on the head, that's what you'd do. 100%. See, mate. Hey, just, no. But the, the colours that, that you're paying for the colour. Yeah, the. the, the oh, the ray. Um, yeah, you're paying for the realism sort of thing. Yeah. Cause like that sort of thing there would be prime for the trout guys, the real red red fin. Oh yeah. Well this is Oh, that might be a good one I think. Cage fin getting a few lizards on us. Oh jeez. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, blues. That's a good one, Sam. Yes. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, that's a uh that's the one we're chasing. I'm not sure he knows what's going on yet. Oh, he does now. Oh yeah, he's a real good one, Dicko. Yeah, no, no. Mate, he looks big from, from, from over there. Yeah. Do you see, I saw the, oh. white, the white came up. I'm glad I got this one before you. This is one we want on Thunder. Okay, mate. Yes, this is this is the one we want in the comps. So this video, guys, all this footage has come from uh, our pre-fishers for the Flathead Elite series. And uh, today, well, Cade had to work. He works with Wilsons as well, and he obviously doesn't need any practice either. He's um, he's ready to go. So Dicko and I thought we'd come out for a training run, just have a suss. And playing around with some different lures? Yes, just checking out some new theories and some new areas. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a pretty good fish. This is, this is the kind of fish you want to see in a comp. Oh, oh yes, very long fish. Yeah. I'm just going to jump back down here, Sam. Holy crap, he's long. It's not not a massive shovel. No, but he's long. It's very long. We'll definitely be putting this one on the mat. Do we have a mat today? Yes, mate. <laughs> Boy. I put all everything in here for the comp, you know, because we had to change the boat because we had an accident with the skeeter. Oh, we don't want to talk about the skeeter. The skeeter's <laughs> just having a little rest. <laughs> He's got a bit of heart issues at the moment. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice fish. Oh. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. I'm just... The length, it's just not a, a very wide fish. Oh, wow, it is a quite wide fish too. Yeah, no, it's a really good one. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Man. Is that going to go 80s? I don't know, but it's going to be close. He's got the head of that down too. Oh, I think he's got both trebs. Come on there, mister. Come on there. Come on there. That'll do ya. Love that. You can't, you can't dictate to them, yeah? You can't rush them. Now, for anyone looking for a flathead rod, I'm going to come out and say it right now. Get yourself a shore barrage for the little plastics and your, um, and your little hard body lures. Go with the L. 
It's seven foot six. You know me, I love a bit of length in my rod. Not too concerned about width, but or girth, but a long rod is a good rod. And then also the ML, if you're chucking like um, your bigger, bigger hard bodies or like a bent minnow style. They've got to be the greatest flathead rod to ever come, ever, ever be a flathead rod. Here we go, here we go. That is a tank of a fish. That is a tank of a fish. Oh. Wow, that's definitely 80s. He's not that big here, but look at his tail wrist. At least you, oh, lure's out. Oh no. This is more than likely going to suck. You got to commit once you're in there. That is not such a heavy fish, like heavy set fish, just long. And uh, that's an 80 something. Oh, please don't kick my rod in. That is uh Jeez, we are in the 80s, 80s, nearly 83, no, isn't he? Oh, 82. No, 82, nearly 82. Lovely fish. Look at the beautiful colours on him. Just a nice fat fish. Oh sorry, nice, nice fit fish. Mm. Usually 80s you can see like a bit more girth on the head, but this guy's just big long. Pretty. He's a marathon runner. Pretty. Almost 82 centimetres. Long fish, not as fat as we usually see him, but I tell you what, this is the kind that we want in the comp. Shame to see it now, but uh, flattered in the 80s, you're never disappointed to see. What a beautiful fish. You ready to go? <laughs> there she goes. Well guys, that is all we've got time for this week. An unfortunate result for us, but we'll be back next year seeking redemption from those big old flathead. Anyways guys, hope you're getting out there and catching a few fish yourself. Hope you're all safe and well, and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Cheers. Best of luck getting that lure back. Oh no.